everybody, Steve here again. I want to do a quick video, and it's probably going to be a few clips uh, thrown into one video, and uh, to kind of see how the smack cell reacts to uh, being wrapped up with that heat shrink that I put on it in one of my prior videos, and that was a suggestion. And a lot of people had uh, either wrapped their cells or had done sealed cells with their uh, series cells, and so the, we're going to look at that and see how it reacts to water. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. And I've already prepared, uh, already have a, a smack cell. And if you notice, uh, similar, uh, it's wrapped with the heat shrink and the, the little blue parts are the, uh, is the tool dip because I had a couple of uh, places that were real thin and bare. One had a small hole where I burned just a little bit too much. So, uh, other than that, uh, we got our power leads hooked up. Uh, we got our little voltmeter battery charger. I'm going to get another battery here soon. And uh, so, anyway, let's just take a look at the initial reaction, and then we'll go on and, and do a test later. Uh, so, I want power switch is down there, by the way, and I'll use my finger this time. Uh, anyway, just want to get. Uh, there we go. All right, and here we go. Three, two, one, and ignition. And that's a pretty decent production. And as far as, of course, it's all, uh, all of it's coming up through the top, so it probably looks more than, than what it is. Maybe it is more. We'll do some tests to find out. And currently, if we look, we're looking at maybe about 10 volts, and we're looking at amps at about maybe maybe 11 and a half amps, maybe 12, and that's uh, that's some pretty decent production. It's not bad. You actually hear it percolating a little bit. Again, staying. Uh, out some good noise and then what we'll do is uh, let's kick it up a level and so I'll take this up to and goes up to about 11 volts kicking out a lot more and we're looking at about 15 amps putting out some good stuff So, obviously, uh, the cell still works when you wrap it up tight. And then, uh, just to do, let's go on the highest setting that we can for charging. It's about like 12 point, uh, 12 and a half volts. It's about 25 amps. And what do we see? We see, uh, oh yeah, it's cooking off pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. So that's a smack booster cell. Kicking out at about uh, 12 and a half volts, about 25 amps. Change bad, so let's kick it down. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the booster, and uh, what we'll do since obviously it still works. Uh, next test I'll do is I'll throw it in the. Uh, Throw it in, we'll actually take some measurements on what we get, and I'll throw it into uh, my test container, and uh, which is working off of two liters of water, and then we'll see what this, what kind of output it does, and what kind of MMW is the output. Okay, we're back, and what we do is we've got uh, the cell inside the housing, all screwed on. We got our negative and our positive and our output. Uh, there's no bubbler because it's just going straight to our measuring device and it's set at zero. We're using the numbers on this side. Each 
mark is 100 milliliters, so when we get to 5, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, if you look at the sheet, and we're using uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, 2 teaspoons per 2 liters of water, and uh, we'll throw in the bolts and then the amps and the time it takes to get uh, 500 milliliters and we'll go to the computer and look at the final numbers. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the infamous stopwatch thing and we're going to use the two and we'll do them both at the same time and we'll see what we come up with. So, I'm going to mark three, two, one, go. And we're pushing 10.32, 32 amps, I think is 15 amps, and again we're looking at the volts there, and it's producing, and it's running, we have 300. And we're coming up on 400, or we're using the numbers on the left. Almost coming up on 5, and right now, and we get 50.43. So 50 seconds, point four three, and we'll look at the MMW on that. Okay, in case you're wondering, this is watervan.co.uk, and uh, we had some, some pretty good stuff. Okay, in our first one, we had 10.32 volts, and if we go down to amps, we had 15 amps, and then we produced 500 and we did it in a time of 50.43, 0.43, and calculate, and 3.84. back to the infamous two stopwatch eye hand coordination thing and all right and here we go on a mark get set go and we're looking at volts is 11.44 assuming 25 amps we're at 200 milliliters so far Three hundred, four hundred, and we're coming up on five hundred and thirty one point five nine. So one point five nine, and again, that's with the same two teaspoons on a relatively cold cell. These are the only two tests that I've done. So let's go to the computer, enter in our other one, which is 11.44 volts, uh, 25 amps. Now I'm assuming this is 25 amps because the last time that I did the test and I had an amp meter before I blew it out because it was cheap amp meter. Um, it was 25 amps was the max setting on the battery charger, and we the time on that was 31.59, and so let's see what it is now, 3.32. But anyway, um, that's it, and that's the uh, the initial test of the cell, and so that's about it. So, and we'll do some more, um, and actually what I want to do to, I have some other, some other uh, results that I had done before.
prior to the cell being wrapped with the uh, heat shrink. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll clean out the cell, uh, get new distilled water, I'll put in two fresh teaspoons of uh, sodium hydroxide and to replicate the, the same standards that I had before uh, with these other tests and do a comparison and see how the wrap cell does and versus when it wasn't wrapped up. So, but anyway, that's the, uh, that's the first look at uh, putting the cell, the wrap cell in water and uh, the first two tests. And um, I don't know, I'm pretty pleased so far. So anyway, but that's it. Uh, catch you later. Bye.